Hello everyone, this is Psy Soldier here, continuing with our Let's Play Dominions 4, Nazca Rise of the Mummies. It is now winter in year 8 of the Ascension Wars. You can see here that we have just completed our research and alteration, so as of now we have maxed out our research and alteration, conjuration, and enchantment. So we are actually getting relatively close to completely finishing with all of the research for the game. Once that happens, everyone will be switching over to reanimation, and that will not bode well for the enemy. Uh, of course, our pretender, and we have some super combatants that are powerful enough that things are already not going well for the enemy, but uh, it won't hurt at all to have a few additional tricks up our sleeves. All right, so we've cast Tartarin Gate a couple times. We've also awakened Tarsk once again. Uh, we cast Cloud Trapeze to teleport our Titan to the front line. We've summoned another Wraith and, of course, called uh, done Call of the Wild. So we have a battle here in Scantrass. That's probably actually going to be our Tartarin that just teleported into the province. Indeed it is. So it looks like he's not really fighting anything amazingly good here. So he's got invulnerability, resist fire. I believe he's about to cast mirror image. And then he should be going for mist form, I think. So uh, it should be extremely difficult to actually harm him. He's got a little fatigue going right now. But he'll suck that out of the enemies as soon as he closes in on them. Uh, he's got 98 fatigue, but as soon as he actually engages in battle, well, they're just running anyways, so he's not even really getting a chance to suck any fatigue out of them because they're not staying. So, so much for that. We also had a battle in Refoblia. Apparently, Miklin actually got the balls to attack us. Our forces have defeated the attacking force from Miklin. Um, I guess they attacked some of our Mound Kings. I don't know. Let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. Alright, so we've got several Mound Kings with some bows of war. They're, uh, already giving Mictlin a hard time before the long dead even actually engage in battle. Banishment and uh, some good priests are basically about the only thing that Mictlin's really got going for him. I guess most of their units are priests, or most of their commanders. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice is getting a little rough here. So, they're already running for it. They've learned the error of their ways. Miklin is just about done for. We actually took Ryla out to... Uh, a number of turns ago, and I think uh, we're just about to take Miklin out as well. So, once again, the Arcane Nexus has absorbed about 154 Astral Pearls. We had a, another negative event. The Fortress in Scantrast is unharmed. That would be where our Banefire King and our Titan are at. Fortunately, I can't have them move that way. I'll just go ahead and assign these troops to this guy, and we're going to move this ginormous army up here. Make sure I have everyone. So I did move another army into that province as well. Go 
Good grief. Alright, that'll do it. We're going to move all of them up there. I guess I'll just, uh... I'll have the King of Banefires and our, uh, Titan move down here, and they'll take over those two provinces. Alright. We got all of these guys. Paddle. The war with Miklan's pretty much going to be over before, uh, these guys even engage. So, you know what? Let's just go ahead and start taking over, uh, these underwater provinces. Why not? Yeah, I'll wait until I've got uh, all these guys in position. Or should I just go ahead and do it? I don't know. Either way, we're going to annihilate them. I'll go ahead and just go ahead and get all these guys in position down here. Alright, so the ones with the units under their command actually cannot move that far. I guess they can move two spaces. I think I might be able to... St no, I still can't storm that fortress. It would have been nice. I'll tell you what. I'll move this titan down there and he can storm the fortress with him and go ahead and start moving them north get these guys here start moving them as well And I'll shuffle this guy on up there as well. And take as many of the units as I can. Alright, so we are going to be in a position to just send floods of undead up on these, uh, what are they called, the Triton Kings? From here... And from here, when I start attacking them, because Miklin will be dead momentarily. And taking a look down here, see if he can forge anything else. I guess I'll go ahead and do the acts of rulership here. And I don't know if our pretender can actually... He's got a lot of astral magic. Let's see here. Oh, can he forge anything? Could do the Shield of Dawn instead of the uh, Axe of Rulership. But I'm relatively happy with the Axe of Rulership. So I'll just... Uh, Continue on down here. Take a look at our pretender. So he's got eight astral magic. I don't believe I can actually cast a wish yet. I still need... That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need one more point in astral magic to actually cast a wish. I could very well go ahead and get rid of that. And give him, uh, something that I'm going to have to take from somebody else. Now, where is that guy that's got all the, uh, astral boosters? Where did he go? There you are. Alright. I'll go ahead and give him the Atlas of Creation, I guess. Take that from him and give it to 
Sai. And now Sai should be able to cast Wish. So we are going to do that. And we are going to wish for magic power. Wishing for magic power will increase all of his magic paths by one and give him the uh, magic paths that he does not have as well. So it will give him one in those paths that he doesn't have and it will increase all of his existing paths by one point. So that will uh, be a good boost for him. Uh, this guy, research. Uh, we actually need to... Okay, I've already done that. And we are doing our unique item forging for the turn. Actually, I can have these Wraith Lords call allies as well. That's uh, one of the nice little things that they can do as well. Go ahead and take over this province down here. Put some province defense in these provinces I've taken over. There's a priest there that's ready to move. And he should be ready to move, I believe, right there. We'll go ahead and start moving this guy towards the front line as well. Along with him. And we'll move these guys. So I'm going to have about a bazillion reanimators in this province right here. Which should probably start making the Nation of Man rather nervous. Alright, I have a priest here that I can go ahead and start moving him on up that way. Of course, I have plenty of priests already up here. Considering all of these guys are priests. Okay, unfortunately I can't storm either of those fortresses yet. But I may very well be able to do that next turn. And if that happens, that should be the end of Micklin. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can take over that province. And I thought that I had someone moving down there to take over this other province that I lost. Apparently not. I'd have sworn that I had uh, one of these guys moving down there. I don't know what happened with that. I'll move him back down there. Okay. Throw a bunch of province defense in here. And we should be just about ready here. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. We've got a bunch of uh, big nasty Tarsks. And plenty of Tartarins. We have a number of little magma children. And we have a troll. I forgot about our uh, troll king. Where is he at? Let's see if I can find that troll king. Ah, oh, there he is. Let's see if he can summon allies. Unfortunately, no, he can't. So, so much for that spell. I might as well go ahead and send him and all his trolls up north anyways. Where is he? He's right there. He's not exactly amazingly powerful there. But, uh, I guess I can give him a few items that will help him out. He's carrying a maul. 
Go ahead and give him an eye shield. So that dropped him down to using his fist. I want to give him the hammer of the forge lord. The unquenched sword, no. I don't want him having heat from hell as soon as he starts battle. Uh, it's not like the dormant hammer is a really great weapon. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll actually have him forge his own weapon, I think. I'll give him a uh, horror helm. And I'll tell you what. Why don't we... Go ahead and give him a ring of regeneration too. So he'll have uh, a couple points of regeneration. And let's see what kind of sword he could forge for himself. Really nothing that great. I might have to have someone else forge a sword for him. How about this guy? What can he forge? Sword of Swiftness. It's not terribly bad. I think that's probably what I'll do. Yes. I'm going to do the Sword of Swiftness for our Troll King. It'll make him a decent little thug, at least. He's definitely not going to be a super combatant, but... He certainly qualifies as a thug. And... I forgot what I had, uh... Our other little... King do there. Ah, oh, he can actually forge the barrier, too. Which is probably nicer than the Axe of Rulership. Hmm. I'll have him summon some allies. I'm going to have these guys forge a couple more items. I think I'm going to do an eye shield and I think an amulet of resilience. Got a few guys that can use some items like that. Let's take a look here. This guy's still feeble minded, that's not good. And I still have yet to heal this guy's afflictions. This guy is pretty much good to go. Uh, what could I give him? I'll give him that. I suppose I'll give him something to increase his magic resistance. What else shall we do for him? Give him uh, another anti magic amulet. He's got Tartaran chains, which have uh, plus two attack versus shields. Hmm. He's basically got like zero defense skill, so it, to be honest, it's kind of a waste to give him the. Uh, Chainmail of Displacement. He's already going to be getting hit by about everything. Let's give him something that's going to increase his uh, regeneration, I think, actually. Because he's already got only 5% regeneration. Uh, I was thinking that I had the Hydra Armor or something of that nature, but apparently not. I could give him the Monolith Armor. That's got a lot of encumbrance, which actually he shouldn't be affected by encumbrance, being undead. Hmm. I'm tempted to give him the monolith armor. 
I think I'll give it to somebody better than that. Let's go ahead and... What? No, 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 not you guys. Tardron Gate, that's what you're supposed to be doing. I was trying to move him. Let's take a look here. Get some of these guys out of the way. I want to see what other cool units we have here. I have some ghouls. Where did the ghouls come from? So we have some little earth gnomes. Apparently those are the uh, ones that are being summoned by the king of elemental earth. Oh, we do have some more war trolls here as well. Where is our... Alright. I guess I'll give him uh, these little earth gnomes. Yeah, why not? Let's give him the uh, Tarsks as well. Tarsks would be better with somebody that actually has some poison resistance, though. I'm a little, uh, a little afraid to send them with him. Got plenty of Tartarans, though. They're definitely in need of, uh, Ha ah, I've got a little too many afflictions to be healed here, you know? I think, instead of having her cast Awakened Tars, I'm going to start having her cast Fairy Court. Because I need more people to heal afflictions. So she's got the ability to heal up to one affliction per month for every point in that ability. So let's go ahead and summon some more of them. <laughs> Maybe we can actually get rid of all the afflictions that these Tartarans have. Alright, very good then. I think we are good to go for this turn here. Alright, we're going to go ahead and end our turn. As always, if you enjoy our videos, I hope you'll like and subscribe, and we will see you again soon. Thank you very much.